Crandall, can you take this box of stuff up to the attic, please? Sure thing, Earth Mom. Haven't been up here in a while. I'm sure my home planet has more advanced storage facilities than... What's this? The glowy thing? Whoa. I wonder if this is the outfit I wore when I arrived on this planet. Captain C here. Aloha, Cap. Could you boogie on down to my office? Of course. Timo's always ready to. Not Timo, Cap. Just you. There's a certain super dude here who wants to rap with you alone. Greetings, Captain Crandall. Captain Excellent, my boyhood idol. Precisely. I'm on my way. If you'll excuse us, Governor, I need to speak with Captain Crandall, Captain to Captain. Cool, Caps. Just make your super selves super comfy, and I'll go check on the legislature. Ooh, that is super comfy. Is this meeting about Timo's evaluation from the last time you visited our state? Sort of. The Council of Planetary Standards and Practices is actually quite pleased with your progress, Captain Crandall. Super! However, there is some concern about your teammates. Skate lad and rope girl? Yes. Now they are just Earth children, so their weaknesses aren't a terrible shock. Weaknesses? Oh, their lack of super speed, super reflexes, and super stamina, their tendency to get hurt. Surely you've noticed. Usually we're too busy catching back guys for me to notice stuff like that. And neither of them has ever gotten hurt. It's just a matter of time before one or both of them does, Cap. Really? Really. The council believes that Skate Lad and Rope Girl may be holding you back. Oops, it's mine. Captain Excellent here. What? I'm on my way. Think about it, son. We wouldn't want you wasting your super potential because of your commitment to a team. I guess not. Stop working as a team. Now, if you'll excuse me, there's a crisis on Theta-6 that I must take care of. Call Governor Kevin! Governor Kevin! Easy there, Glow Dome. You almost got leveled by my trademark exit. Captain Excellent! That's my name. Don't wear it out. Now then, call Aw, oh, why do you have to leave when we need a real superhero? What seems to be the problem, Chief? Yeah, I could hear you shouting from the cabinet chambers, although they're not really a cabinet, nor are they chambers. What have you got? Madam Snape's escaped from the state facility for the unusually limber. Oh, man. And just in time for Style Week at the State Convention Center. We figure she's intent on wreaking havoc with the fall, winter, and Arbor Day collection, sir. Don't worry. Timo Supremo is on the case. Hey, Cap, we got here as soon as we could. Any sign of Madam Snake? Not yet, but I'm sure she'll slither by soon. Let's have a look around. And here is chemise in a mood indigo linen slash acetate tea length with a dramatic side slit. Gee, yo! Can you imagine actually wearing those clothes? I sort of can. Well, maybe not to school. Boss, they're here. I'm ever so nervous. Calm down. Remember the caps in the bag. Now, is the trap set? Yes, Madam Snake. Excellent. And now we have chiffon in a lovely bisque mercerized cotton drop needle sweater. Hey, that's not mercerized cotton. That's right, and I'm not Shabam. Zaza! Timo, after her! Zaza! We're right behind you, Cap! <laughs> Hurry, we haven't a moment to lose. Toy boys, fashion victimize them! Timo, scramble! The ouchers! Splatters! Uh-oh. Gio! Surrender, Madam Snake! <laughs> You'll never catch me! That's what you think. But Hey! My superpowers must be kicking in. It's all over now, Madam Snake. Yes, but for who? Seems your teammates are about to meet their doom, or should I say, loom. So what'll it be, your teammates or me? Sex! Hang on, T! 
Timo. So long, Timo Supremo. Let's go get Madam Snake. No way. You guys are hurt. But she's getting away. Don't worry. I placed a tracer dot on her. In the meantime, we've got to get you two to the level three infirmary. Now hold still. Well, nothing's broken, Skate Lad. It's just a pulled muscle. Mr. Paulson, Sam, if you'd excuse us, we need to have a Teemo talk. Uh, sure thing, Captain Crandall. What's up, Cap? I met with Captain Excellent today, and he's afraid I might not be living up to my super potential. You sure seem super to us, Cap. Yeah, we both saw that super leap you did against Madam Snake. That's part of the problem. I can't focus on my superpowers if I'm afraid you two are going to get hurt. But this stuff was just a fluke. Yeah, and we're a team. Not anymore. I'm going after Madam Snake alone. That's crazy talk. Yeah, Madam Snake and her toy boys are trouble. I know. But it's my duty to protect the citizens of this state, and that includes you two. Now, excuse me, I have to home in on a certain tracer dot. Buzza! I can't believe Captain Excellent would tell Crandall to quit Timo. I got a mind to give Captain E a piece of my mind, but I think I'm gonna need them all. I think we need to make a super call. Show yourself, Madam Snake. I know you're here. So, Captain Crandall, where are your not so super teammates? You're not going to get away by trapping them this time. Toy boys, it worked. Get him. I'm afraid you haven't counted on my newly developed superpowers. But It seems you haven't counted on your superpowers not being real. What? I set a layer of super springy foam along my escape route. I knew from your talk with Captain Excellent that it would make you believe you have superpowers. How did you know that? Too bad your teammates aren't here to see what a super chump you are. <gasps> Toy boys, let's add Captain Crandall to my fall collection. Toss him in the pit. You've reached the Council of Planetary Standards and Practices. If this is a planetary crisis, press 1. To book a super speaker, press 2. Council HQ, this is Dr. Fastastic. How can I help you? Can we speak with Captain Excellent? He's battling Big Skull on Triton right now. Can I take a message? But it's very important that we talk to him. Well, I suppose I could transfer you. Hold on! Excellent here. My if it isn't the Amo Super Bowl. That's Timo Supremo. Right, 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 right. Uh, hold on, kids. Try an asteroid on for size, Big Skull. I do not have a big skull! Stop calling me that! Now, uh, what can I do for you, Super Kids? We want to know what you said to Captain Crandall to make him leave Teemo! Captain Crandall? I don't have any idea. I haven't seen my little buddy in months. Months? He said he talked to you today. Wasn't me. I've been battling Big Skull all of this week and part of last week. Interrupted a golf tourney I was winning. Eat laser! Goody, goody. Back for more, are we, Skull? Sorry, kids, what evil beckons. We understand. Thanks for the help. Anything for you, tiny titans. Now, Big Skull, get ready to be cursing back to the Crab Nebula. So if he didn't meet with Crandall, then some shape-shifting bad girl did. And now, with Timo Supremo eliminated, the fashion world will fall to their knees. Who are you calling eliminated? of Timo Supremo. Rope Girl, Skate Lad, what are you doing? Just our duty as duly deputized super agents. Yeah, just because you left doesn't mean Timo's finished. We'll see about that. Toy Boys, close them out. Catch me if you can. Chica! Here they come. We have you now. Well, we're just going to go ahead and challenge the veracity of your last statement. Oh, rats. Madam Snake's getting away! Not for long. Timo, it's time to try Operation Ripcord. No! But that! How did you do that? Yeah, how did Cap do that? It's called teamwork, and without it, Teemo would not be Supremo. 
Take her away, Chief. Come on, we've got the very latest in jumpsuits for all of you. In jail! Nice work, kids. I'm sure the real Captain Excellent will be very proud. Indeed. Proud of the whole team. And so, with America's first political cartoon, Benjamin Franklin reminded the Albany Congress delegates of the dangers of disunity. This lesson seems familiar. Sure does. That Ben Franklin knew what he was talking about. True. And even when I get my superpowers, I'll never forget that I'm a member of... Timo Supremo. Mail call! Some magazines, Dehydro? All these stories on Timo Supremo? I care not for their inferior pets, favorite picnic spots, and childhood hangouts. Rubbish! Those landies think they are so superior. But I, Dehydro, master of the water, I'm really... Yeah, say, water master, you mind turning off your sink there? Water doesn't grow on trees, you know. But I do mind turning off my sink, for I have made up my mind not to. As have my amphibious army also, and as well. Sound the alarm. We got a prisoner uprising, just like in the movies. But this is no movie. And it seems that you, who were once guarding us prisoners before, are now prisoners yourselves. There might be a movie in that. And so, in 1800, American Robert Fulton designed the first practical submarine called the Nautilus. Hold that thought, Crandall. Crandall Hector Brenda, the governor needs your help with a plumbing problem. You are excused. Root me, Brenda! <laughs> What seems to be the problem, Governor Kevin? Major bummer, Timo. There's a flood over at the SFBEC. Oh, that's the state facility for brutally egomaniacal crooks. Sounds like a dehydro sort of groove. Bingo! Don't let him escape, kids. I've got a water park grand opening today. Zazow! I'm really looking forward to that. Oh, I know. I read your magazine interview. Say no more. We're on our way. How did dehydro get all this water? Here. My amphibious army and I have left our faucets running! Soon the water will be high enough for us to swim out of the air vents. Then I shall have my revenge upon the state, and especially upon the landy known as Rope Girl. Me? That is correct. You have twice thwarted my plans. Now you shall soon pay the price that you must pay. Goodbye, Timo. We will be meeting again soon, but not in a friendly, how-do-you-do sort of way. Oh no, it shall be revenge, R-E-V-E-N-G-E. -E. You'll find out what that means to me. <laughs> okay, Timo, we need to drain the prison. Hydro masks on. Skate lab, convert to submersible mode. We're heading for the basement. <laughs> Oh, oh, thanks, Timo. You saved us. De nada. Now let's go get the hydro. Indeed. His secret hideout is no secret to us. Yeah, it's under the waves of the state reservoir. Hey, where did all the water go? This dehydration could only be the work of Dehydro. That would make better sense of his name. We should tell Governor Kevin. I have a very bad feeling about this. As your gov, I'm proud to declare the new state water park officially open. Cowabunga, dudes! Hey, where's all the water? Governor Kevin, Dehydro has escaped and stolen all the water in the state reservoir. Say, did you kids know that sliding belly first on dry fiberglass can be really painful? Sir, sir, someone's draining the Great State Lake. Oh, not the Great State Lake. That's my favorite picnic spot. Great gravy. No, the Great State Lake. I know, great gravy. No! Don't worry, Chief. Governor Kevin, we're on it. Timo Supremo! Lake doesn't usually have a whirlpool, does it? No, it does not. Skate lad, hydrofoil mode. Let's fight this whirlpool with one of our own. Time. 
time to try Operation Spin Cycle! Ah, yes. Soon that Landy Rope Girl's favorite picnic spot will be as dry as a dry towel that has never been wet. Your ambitiousness! Timo Supremo is approaching the Whirlpool! What? Are those fools such fools that they think they can somehow stop my unstoppable Whirlpool? Steady... now! Alright! It's working! Sir, the Whirlpool's slowing! Then have the whole driller drill a hole that is larger than the one that was previously drilled. The Whirlpool's getting whirlier! I'll use my retro rockets. Too late. Ah! Sat, the water's all gone. Gee, yo. Now it's just a great state mud hole. That's just not particularly funny, Skate Lab. I grow stealing water all over the state. Oh, dear, this could become a catastrophic disaster. Is it really that bad, Paulson? I mean, hey, there's always plenty of water. That's not exactly true. While there is a lot of water, there's only so much to go around. We need water for drinking, for watering plants, for putting out fires, for waterbeds, showers, hydroelectric power, cooking as a home for fish, and don't forget, there'd be no tea without it. Couldn't we just add ice to water down our water supply? Sorry, Chief, but ice is made out of water, too. I knew that. Yellow, you got your gov. No way! Oh, bummer! Speaking of ice, Arctic World has just been thawed and drained. Arctic World? <gasps> but that's where Barnacles lives! Barnacles? <laughs> Don't you worry, Barnacles! I'm a coming! Rope Girl, wait! We better go after her! Indeed, but we'll have to use the stairs. Barnacles! B -b Barnacles! Oh no, Barnacles! My favorite friendly walrus! You okay, gal? <laughs> Don't worry, Rope Girl. Barnacles is dehydrated, but she'll be all right once we give her more water. Rope Girl, are you okay? I am, but that no good dehydros hurt my favorite friendly walrus. Don't worry, Barnacles. I'll get you your water back. <coughs> Ew, I like you, Barnacles, but you need a mint. water from all my favorite places! Any thoughts on where Dehydro's hidden all the water? I'm clueless, but of course the state's greatest mines might have some ideas. Mines? Perhaps he's hiding the water in the clouds. The clouds? Yes. Clouds are made of water vapor, which is water as a gas. Then, maybe, Dehydro boiled all the liquid water into water vapor. But we'd have detected the massive amount of heat it would take to boil all the state's water. Perhaps Dehydro's been tunneling under our water supplies and letting the water flow into underground lakes. Underground? Sure. Underground lakes and rivers are a common occurrence. Wonderful deduction, Jean. Thanks. I have to know this stuff if I'm going to be a famous spelunker someday. But how are we going to find Dehydro's underground hideout? I think Sam and I can help you out there. This is a level 7 sonar-enabled divining rod. If Dehydro's hiding the state's water underground, this should lead you right to him. According to this, we're standing over a huge underground lake. Ah! Ah! Whoa, look it! That must be what the hydro's using to steal all the water! Oh, that crabinator! <gasps> so, you inferior landies finally managed to find out that I've been stealing your water by tunneling underneath it with my water-stealing crabinator. And now it's time for you to return the state's water, Dehydro, and pay for what you've done to my favorite places and walruses! Ha! And I don't think I'll be returning any water, for now that I have all the water, the water is now mine! And I shall do with my water as I wish! Timo, scramble! Amphibious army! Get rid of these inferior landies! Skate lad, hoop girl, take care of the frogmen. I'll handle Dehydro. Not this time, Cap. I've got a score to settle with Dehydro. Good point. Whoop! Hey, duel, eh? Ha ha ha! By you 
using this hose, I shall prove who is superior and who is inferior. Rope girl, for you merely have a rope, whereas I have a hose, which is like a rope, only better because it can carry water. You talk too much, cat rope. Whoop you don't really want to hurt me, do you? The way you hurt our whole state? No, because that would make me as inferior as you are. Besides, I've got a better idea. No, all my water, which I have taken from the state to keep for myself. I'll grab me a river dehydrated. <laughs> Good to see Barnacles back to her old tricks again. Yeah, it sure makes you appreciate how important water is. Indeed. And speaking of water, here's some ice water for everyone. Mmm, -hmm. nothing beats an ice cold glass of water. Uh, except when the water's really ice cold. Well then, ice pops anyone? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's fire up the grill. The magic talking grill. A new kind of power is here in Ninja Power.